Hi guys, my name is Fruity and in this video I will show you how you can install a child theme. And maybe you think, what is a child theme? Well, let me explain. A child theme is an area within your website where you can apply changes to your current theme. And maybe you wonder, why can I not make those changes in the theme itself? That's a good question. That is because when you apply the changes to the current theme, for instance, you change uh, something within the CSS or the PHP file, those changes will be overwritten when you update your theme. So all those changes you create will be gone after you update your theme. And we don't want that. We want to maintain those changes even when we update the theme. And that's why you need a child theme. When you apply those changes within the child theme, those changes will be applied even when you update your theme. And you can not only change things, you can also add functions, you can add CSS, you can add things that will enhance your website. And using a child theme, you will maintain those changes when you update your theme. So that's how it works. When do you need a child theme? Not in all cases you need a child theme. I never used one in my entire 32 years of living. But I also never changed the PHP code in my theme. All the changes you can make within the customizer will remain after you update the theme. And these days, a lot of themes have the possibility to add custom CSS to change the background, to change the font, a lot of stuff. So in most cases, you don't need a child theme. When do you need a child theme? When you want to add functions, PHP code, a really complicated CSS code, then you need a child theme. And since I'm going to make a few tutorials where I will add functionalities using PHP and CSS, I decided I make a tutorial on how to create a child theme. So let me show you how to create a child theme. The first thing I want to do, I want to make a child theme for my Divi theme, but if you want to use it for a different theme, you can do that. I go to the back end and I go to plugins, add new, and then I search for child theme. And the first one that pops up is the child theme configurator. You see a lot of installations. So I choose this one. I click on install now and I click on activate. So what we can do now, we can go to tools child themes and I click on it and now we can create a child theme. Well, you can select your theme over here, the Divi or 2019 or 2017 or 2016. I choose the Divi theme, so I select it. So now I click on analyze. Okay, the theme appears to be okay using a child theme that is great. And then the name of the theme directory, I just leave it as this 0.5 primary style sheet. So we will create a style sheet where we can put our custom CSS in and that will be applied even though we update our thing. Point six, use the WordPress style queue. I don't change it. I think this is all great. Here I want to change a few things. Since we have a child theme, we can change the name, change the theme website. So I could say HTTPS 30 corpcom The author is 30 Corpushook. My website is also this one and the theme description. I call this a child theme of the Divi theme. That's it. I can have theme tags, but I don't need those. And which version? Well, this is my first version. So I say 1.1. Do I want to copy all this stuff? Yes. Very important. Just check it. And then we can create our child theme. I click on create new child theme. So, so far, so good. If I go to appearance themes, I see active is the Divi theme and here is the child theme. What I need to do, I need to activate the child theme so the Divi theme is not activated anymore, but I really need to keep this one. I cannot remove this. I can remove this one, delete it. I like to keep things clean so I don't need those themes. I only need to have the Divi theme and the Divi child theme. And if I click over here on the theme details, you see Divi Child by Ferdy Corpshoek. And if you click over here, you go to my website. A child theme of the Divi theme. And this is a child theme of Divi. It looked great. I go back to themes. So the child theme and the Divi theme. And if I go to the editor, while well, having selected the active Divi Child theme, what you will see is not that much. You see only style CSS and functions.php. But if I go to themes and I go to the Divi theme and I activate it and I go to the editor, you see a lot of files. So if I remove something over here, I have a big problem in my website. It will not function properly anymore. 
But if I would go to themes and I activate the child theme, then I can go to tools, child themes, then I go to files. And what I can do now, all the files when in the main Divi theme, I can copy them to the Divi child theme. So for instance, single.php, I can click on copy selected to the Divi child theme. And now if I go to appearance themes editor, I see single over here. So a lot of code that is copied. If I leave this as it is and I go to the themes and I select the Divi theme and I go to the editor and I search for command F or control F single dot PHP, you see it over here. What I can do now, I can remove all this stuff and nothing will happen. And why is that? Because the Divi child theme has all the information. So if I go to my website and I go to a single blog post because it's referring to a single blog post. So even though this information is lost from the current theme, the page is still shown correctly because of the information in the child theme. I go back to themes. Maybe you want to change the color because right now you see Divi and here you see exactly the same image. If you want to change that, you can go to tools, child themes. Then I go to files. I scroll down, child theme screenshot, upload new screenshot. And the best thing is to have it 880 by 660. Then I click on choose file and I made my own image over here. 880 by 660. Open, upload. And now if I go to appearance themes, you see the child theme is activated. So I like that. When I think I don't need this tool anymore, child themes, I can deactivate it. I go to plugins and I can deactivate it and even remove it if I want to. And then still, if I go to themes, it is working. So I go to the editor, child theme. And if I go to the website, Uh, maybe it's a little bit complicated, but if I say right mouse click, inspect, I will see that this is an H2 code and a link and the color is inherit. Well, if I go to the custom CSS file of the Divi child theme style.css over here, it is selected. Then here below, I can paste the code. If you want to find this code, you can go to ferdicorp.com tutorials, Divi 5, Divi 2018. I can scroll down and here I find it H2 and I can paste it here. Now, if I would save this update and I go to the website, now the text is black. So you see that the CSS of the child theme is overriding the CSS of the current theme. If you only use CSS, I don't think you need a child theme because if you go to the theme customizer and you go to additional CSS over here, you can also paste it over here, the code, and then it will also be applied. But when you want to work with PHP and functions and all that stuff, then you need a child theme. Thank you for watching this video. If you have a question, please leave a comment. If you like the video, please like it. And if you haven't done so, please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the notification icon. And in that way, you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Have a great day and you will see me the next time. Bye bye.